Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, the Tesla Model 3 ludicrous performance plaid performance model 3 highland the launch is imminent we've got two reasons why it is coming up soon and of course if you've been following you know my exact thoughts on when i think this tesla model 3 ludicrous is coming out it's coming out very soon we're gonna get into that plus a variety of topics but before we do that let's roll that intro really quick All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's live stream and all the live streams for the next few days are partnered with Mint Mobile, where you can save money on your phone bill, but more on that later. And thank you to Tesla54 for the $2 super chat. Thank you for supporting. I'll get to your live stream comments in just a second so shout out to tesla scope actually shout out to yan chang you can see there they did a post today an unnamed north american electric vehicle manufacturer has begun inviting global media to test drive its ludicrous model Quote, exciting driving experiences are about to arrive in the world. So it seems like Tesla, if you've been following, has been invited, has been inviting a lot of different media outlets. They did this in Europe with the Model 3 Highland and, of course, now in the U.S. as well. And so it does appear they are trying to get up the content, get up the reviews for the imminent launch, which this imminent launch is, I think, I think going to be the first week of April. Shout out to Tesla Scope. Scope they posted this rumor. Model 3 Ludacris is expected to see some major news shared this week and next. I mean, I guess it could be as early as this week or next week in terms of like releasing videos, reviews, influencers that actually are going to be able to post it and stuff. I could see that coming up very very soon but here's the other post that came out shout out, to, shout out to dominic for posting this quote a completely uncovered model 3 ludicrous was spotted in florida also tesla has started sending out invitations to media to test drive the upcoming performance trim of the re-engineered model 3 reveal is coming closer it seems like this was posted on reddit by chato san and so we can see a model 3 it seems to be a black one right Model 3 performance ludicrous that is imminent and coming out in the near future, which my best guess, I am going to be putting on that it will be April of this year, maybe even the first or second week. Actually, I think it's going to be April, uh, the first week of April. And so we will we'll put a poll out on the uh, channel to see when do you think it's actually coming out, and do you think it's going to be over fifty five thousand dollars, or do you think it, do you think it's going to be under fifty five thousand dollars? Because that's the sweet spot here, right? If it can be under $55,000, then it might potentially qualify for the 7500 federal tax credit. But we're going to get into the next topic. But before we do that, let's do a quick word from Mint, our partner for these live streams. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams. How much are you paying for your mobile plan? And what do you actually get? Speed, coverage, data access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, and mobile hotspot even? Well, Mint offers all of these features for as low as $15 a month. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. 
don't be duped. Go to trymidmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. All right, thanks for that. In this next topic, there is a brand new Tesla product called the Cyber Hammer. And there is one way and only one way to actually get it. Let's take a look at it in case you missed it. It was released. But shout out to Sorry for posting this. Tesla has added a Cyber Hammer to its referral program for a whopping 35,000 credits. It's got a laser etching of Fran's signature and only eight hundred or built. So if you're interested in this crazy looking item, you can head on over to the Tesla referral store and spend the 35,000 credits, which is valued at like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on a brand new cyber hammer signed by Franz or not even a real one, a laser etching signature of Franz or sorry, not Franz, Franz from that. But Still really cool to see that they're starting to drop limited edition stuff in the referral program. And this might get more people to try and refer people to buy Teslas because if they know that limited edition stuff is coming out like Cyber Beer or even the Flamethrower that came out a long time ago, then they might be more excited and more inclined to try and refer people out there. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. Tesla 54, hope you're doing well. No, hopefully you're doing well. Thanks for coming in. Looking to buy a Ludacris or 2023 Model 3 Performance with low miles. Yeah, you might as well just wait until another month to see when this Ludacris comes out so you can make an accurate decision. Model 3 Performance might be a better deal, but uh, it's not going to be the latest and greatest from that. Hooves, I've always said April 1st is no fools this year. There's no way they announce it before the first because of the quarter end. Yeah, 100%. They're going to wait till mid-April, maybe even the first week of April to do that. Abdul, thanks for coming in. Any idea where Tesla Info sources their inventory from? I think off of Tesla websites, that's where they source the info from. Hooves, over 55k because it won't qualify immediately anyway, so they get the higher price for immediate adopters. Great point. You're right there. They're going to drop. They're going to raise it like 58, 59. Or actually, what? Let's, let's take a look at what price it might actually be by looking at what's the highest Tesla has charged for a Model 3 performance. Let's see here. So it looks like a Model 3 performance has been as high as $78,000 down to like 69, 60, 58, and then it dropped way lower than back up to 62. So maybe it's going to be around that type of price range for that. I I guess I could see that coming out to be that. Hooves, I was lucky enough to get a cyber beer when it first came out. I still haven't crapped them open. Yeah, we have not given, we haven't opened ours yet. We actually got two sets. We gave one away as a giveaway, and then we've got the other one downstairs. Maybe one day we'll crack it open as a giveaway. But speaking of giveaways, we've got two announcements on the channel. The first one is if you are in the Southern California area and specifically the Walnut California area, SoCal, we will be at March Tesla Madness sponsored by Smart Plug EV and Bespoke Design Lab. Bespoke is the shop that did our wrap. It's going to be on March 30th, not this Saturday, next Saturday from 12 to 2. So if you are interested in coming to take a look at a red Cybertruck or looking to come to a meet a Tesla meet, we're going to be doing a quick giveaway Maybe we'll do one or two items, but the first few people that come to up to me and say French fries are the best will win some cyber truck swag. Going to do a little bit of a mini giveaway for those of you that are local and want to come to a meet. On top of that, the second thing in terms of a giveaway, we're working with Bespoke Design Lab to potentially do a vinyl color change wrap giveaway or paint protection film giveaway. So if you're interested in this, definitely hit the like button definitely comment down down below if you're interested 
because these giveaways are a little bit tougher because you have to be near the Southern California area to be able to go and head out to get the, the wrap done. So a little bit of an interesting one, but still great value, especially if you're looking to wrap or get paint protection film done for your Tesla vehicle or really any vehicle for that. But let me know, drop it down in the comments if we should do that giveaway. And this next topic, Rivian just came out and added a $2,500 discount to specific models. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're inter interested. Rivians are expensive, especially at right now at the moment. R1S is like a 70, 80, 90K SUV. R1T, a little bit more, less inexpensive, but they're certainly trying to move inventory. But now, shout out to Chris Hillboard for posting this. Rivian is now offering a $2,500 off your lease if you take delivery of a 2023 model year in inventory. A great way to improve their deal. This is on top of existing motor paint wheel upgrades that are, they are offering. So here is a buyer's order as listed and you can see a $2,500 lease promotion discount and on top of that a $2,000 premium interior discount. So it seems like if you're looking for Rivians at the moment, especially if you're looking willing to be purchasing a 2023, which is technically a one year old vehicle, the discounts are there and I would recommend talking to a Rivian salesperson or Rivian store representative to see how you can get the best deal on a Rivian if that is what you're looking for because right now Rivian R1Ts, the trucks is like 559 month lease, the R1S like a 659 or 669 month lease. It is definitely a very exciting time to buy any vehicle because manufacturers are trying to clear them out and get some discounted inventory. But let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic or let's jump into the live stream comments. Tesla, you think the loot cruise will be under three seconds, zero to 60 and quarter mile on the 11s or tight 10s? It's more power. Yeah, I mean, I would love for them to come out zero to 60, 2.99 because that would be absolutely amazing, right? It would be faster than the plaid and just absolutely insane. Hooves, I sent a separate beer to my brother too. He got his Model 3 performance in 2019 and is waiting, his loot, waiting the Luda eagerly. Yeah, 100%. Divided, I'd rather get a plaid. They're going for like 60K U's. Divided, that's a good point because that's a crazy amount of value for a used one plus air suspension. And if you can get it like one year old or two years old with at least, you know not too much mileage on it, it might be worth it. Jiffer, I bought a 2019 used Model 3 with 30K miles on it for 18 out the door and it had full self driving on it. Nice. Congrats to you. That's a crazy deal, especially if you can get the, or you probably got the $4,000 used EV tax credit. That is a slamming deal. That's for sure. Enjoy it in good health. And don't forget to check out our Tesla accessory discounts down below in the description. We got Tesbro's Vion, Jawa for the best interior accessories, and we got Mag back as well. And on top of that, if you're looking for a quick release license plate holder for your Tesla, definitely check out Quick Bandit 1975 Creations. It's the best one, and we've got one of these on our Model X. Also, we got a discount code down below in the description as well. All right. In this next topic, we've got a brand new feature for the Tesla vehicles that's labeled tap to park. This probably is something that you need to have enhanced autopilot or full self-driving, but let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Sorry, he posted this. Tesla releases new tap to park auto feature in update 2024.2.11. Seems like this is going to be coming out soon, but maybe not to customers just yet. But let's take a look at this actual article here. It does seem like you need to have full self-driving beta. And there's probably something where you pull up to a spot like this. It recognizes the spot for you. You push a button and then your Tesla goes ahead and parks it into the spot for you. Oh, interesting. I expect it to be available to vehicles without USS. Because that's the thing. That's one thing I've noticed too. On my Tesla Model X in 2022, we have the USS sensors but 
I feel like it used to beep, beep, beep when you're like getting into spots or something like that, but it hasn't been doing that for a while. So I don't know what is going on, but still very interesting to see these cool features coming out to Tesla. I mean, other manufacturers have had features like this, but we won't say anything about that, but we're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is a Patreon link to support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla, all better than Tesla financing via a credit union. So definitely check out Patreon link down below in the description. Yeah, I forget to talk about this, but, but if you're looking for support on how to get the best deal in Tesla at the best financing rate, you can do that by my Patreon link. You can schedule a call with me and I'll also respond to all DMs if you're interested, if you've got questions on how to get the best deal. So definitely check out Patreon link down below in the description. All right. Insurance probably high on them too. Yeah, 100%. Plaids are insanely quick. I drove one. Yeah, that's I drove one too, actually. I actually drove Vehicle Virgin's Plaid Model S. That thing was ridiculous. It's like almost... It's, unusable. Adrian, should I redeem full software beta when I get my 10k credits from full? Do you think it's worth it for the version 12.3? It seems good. Yeah, it seems like the sentiment for 12.3 is fantastic. I don't know if I would burn those credits though like that. I feel like there's other things you can actually get more tangible value like wall chargers, roof racks, something that's actually worth something physical versus like a software thing. Unless you really want to change or try some of the version of full self-driving. King, I'd rather get a discount coupon for the money I lost buying a Model Y performance in March 22. I also want Elon to fix the HVAC smell in the Model 3 or Model Y. Yes, that's a big problem. There's actually a great video on that that talks about why that is and also potentially how to fix that. And on top of that, if you're out there, if you haven't bought a Tesla yet, don't forget to use a Tesla referral code just like the one down below in the description so you can get three months of full self-driving plus one year of premium connected value which is valued at seven hundred dollars so definitely check it out tesla referral code down below in the description thank you to everybody that's used our tesla referral code in the past and in the future jiffer i've already driven several hours without any takeovers Okay, maybe I need a. Does anybody got? Does anybody have full self driving beta in the Southern California area? Definitely. Maybe I gotta check this out and see what all the hype is about. Jeffrey, I'm expecting Tesla stock to shoot way up. Okay, because of the 12.3. I love it. I can't, can't wait to see that. Adrian, does the three months start after I redeem it or after the update has been installed? It starts immediately after you redeem it, so you might not get the beta, which is kind of unfortunate from that. Tesla 54, done. Should I get the used plat or a new Model 3 performance? That is a fantastic question because certainly, you know, we talk about, you know, how to get the best deal on everything. What's the most value? And I got to say, I mean, I'm just going to take a look at Model S's right now. And if you can get, I mean, I don't even know if I would even go as high as a Model S Plaid, like, because the Model S long range is still pretty fast too, because let's take a look. Model S Long range, I want to say it's like 3.2 or no, it's four seconds, right? No, that's the Model X. Let's take a look. So the Model S long range is 0 to 60 in 3.1. So technically, you don't even have to go to Plaid to get the same performance as a Model 3. And you've got air suspension, which I am always certainly a believer of that. But let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look at what is the most inexpensive 2022 Model S refresh vehicle out there. I don't know, guys and gals. I don't think I could recommend buying a brand new Model 3 performance ludicrous over a used 2022 Tesla Model Y refresh like this one right here 2022 still got pro okay well they got bad reviews but still got probably three years or two years of warranty and really low miles like that at 11,000 miles I mean maybe the sweet spot here is 2022 Model S long range with 22,000 miles 25,000 miles so you've got good amount of mileage left and also a good amount of years left like I mean some of these are fantastic deals that is for sure. I mean, I will say I get asked this a lot. Like, what is what's your most what's the fav most favorite Tesla that I've purchased? And Model Y was the best build quality. Model X has been the worst build quality, but the most efficient in terms of size and makes the most sense with air suspension comfortability. 
But the Model S was probably my favorite in terms of look, driving, everything. Uh, and so I, it's tough because this is this is a crazy value. And I think some of you can get on board with that as well. Kells, thanks for coming in. Buy Model Y Performance now or wait for Juniper. Will there be significant price increases? I mean, Tesla is very flexible with price increases and decreases. So really can't tell what that it really depends on how the economy is next year with interest rates and all those different things. Adrian, I already have a wall charger. I also got a free one from a rebate. Well, maybe maybe your friends can need some help and you can sell one to them or something. Harvey, what's up? Are you going to do a video about your Cybertruck financing? Yes, uh, we are. We're going to do a, a couple more of these uh, asking Tesla owners their monthly payment. That seems to be a great one that resonates well with the channel. And you guys seem to enjoy this. If you don't know what we're talking about, we've been doing a segment where we go out there and ask Tesla owners their monthly payment. We did two of them about just Model 3, Model Y, S's and X, and then one with a Cybertruck monthly payment as well. It's this one right here. I think I'm going to make a playlist on this so you guys can easily find it. And we've got another one coming out probably tomorrow on that, but we definitely are going to do a Tesla Cybertruck financing on and be transparent with all of you. Tesla 54, thanks for the $3. Jiffer, the Model 3 has newer hardware. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying for sure. And they fix all the issues with the Plaid and the 3. Yeah, I get it for sure. But, uh, I mean, I guess I got to go drive. I mean, it's tough because Model 3 Highland suspension is still not as near as comfortable as the Model S with air suspension. So, kind of can go both ways. Roll in. I agree the Model S is best overall. Yeah, exactly. In terms of like value for money, unless you absolutely want a brand new vehicle or should you lease a Model S? I don't know if I would lease a brand new one. Maybe unless like you really wanted a new one. Uh, but yeah, not, not necessarily worth it. Jiffer, remember there was a state rebate for installing level two chargers in your home. Lots of states have them. And so, oh yeah, so that's a great $1,000 or 30% off. Yeah, 100%. Nice deal. That is for sure. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.